before we get started, make sure you head on over and check out Linode. They're great guys over there at Linode. All right, guys, I got a great one for you today. We're going to have a little debate between Kyle Matthews and Ben Awad in regards to Gatsby and Next.js. We also have a couple other guests. Hope you enjoy this, guys. Hey, hi, Trevor C. It's me, Kyle Matthew <laughs> Matthews. Oh, hey, Kyle, it's me, Benny Watt. Well, hey, guys, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. I'm sure my viewers will get a lot out of this. It's the only thing I ask, keep it respectful. Sometimes I have guys on here and it ends up being a real shit show. So I hope you guys can just respect each other and make your valid point. All right, Ben, I watched your video on a new version of Next.js and how you think it might become your framework of choice over Gatsby. So why don't you give your case and then, Kyle, I'll let you have a chance to respond. Well, Kyle, like I said in my video, I just think the learning curve with GraphQL might be a little much for the newcomers. So I do believe that Gatsby will have its place, but that I'm probably going to have to use Next.js a little more. Well, I'm not really sure what, what you mean about GraphQL. I think the, I think the learning curve is just fine. <laughs> Hey there, Trevor Seeds, me, Ox. Hey, listen, I started watching this. I'm giving Ben the win. Give it Ben the win. What? What are you talking about, Hawks? They just started. So how can you possibly make a judgment call like that? Eh, it was easy there, Travis. Easiest decision I've had to make in a long time. I mean, look at the guy. He's about 10 times better looking than the other guy. Have you ever seen such a square jaw in your life? The other guy, he looks like a retarded Muppet. So to me, it was a simple judgment call. I don't even need to know the facts. Well, thank you very much, Hawks. I wasn't going to bring that up unless I had to. Well, I don't think that that's a valid, <laughs> a valid, a valid re reason. Yeah, I don't know. I think that is, uh, I think it's a perfectly valid reason. Perception is 99.9% .9 of the law. Look like a guy who created Flutter and not necessarily Gatsby. I think Ben gets to win. I think I got it, did you? Yeah, hang on a second here, Chris. I think you should hold off declaring a winner until after you hear some pertinent facts. I don't think just basing it solely on who's better looking, Kyle Matthews or Ben Awad, is adding anything to this discussion. Kyle, go ahead and elaborate a little bit on that GraphQL statement. I just think that GraphQL, well, well, I... Eh, hey, why don't you just try spitting it out? I'm sure you don't usually hear that from another guy, but I'm gonna tell you, just spit it out. You see, now Kyle just made my point in one sentence about GraphQL's N plus one problem. Hey, you see that there, Travis? Case closed. Good old Benny eloquently explained how Kyle completely made his point about the N plus one problem in one sentence. Even though I didn't really hear Kyle say anything, I gotta go with Ben on this. I gotta go with Ben. Hawks, that makes no sense. You're saying... You didn't hear Kyle say anything, but yet you're agreeing with what Ben's saying about the N plus one problem. I'm starting to believe that this kid's good looks have you hypnotized. Eh, that's ridiculous. I look at things in an objective manner at all times. It's impossible. Well, actually, it's not impossible at all. <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> that's exactly what I was Hey, it's me, John Smilger, the coding addict. There is no shame in putting a bag on your head. I wear a bag on my head, and I'm a pretty good-looking guy. So go on out there and maybe get yourself two bags with opacity of one. 